Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will check out Reolink's Keen Ranger PT. This is a pan and tilt 4G LTE camera and this is mostly designed to be a smart trail camera. And you can see it is already camoed out. We will check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set it up, install, and do some testing. And see if this smart trail camera can be a good option for you. Thank you Reolink for sending me this camera to be reviewed. It is a pan and tilt camera and can pan 355 degrees and tilt 140 degrees. And its lens has a diagonal field of view of 115 degrees. It records in 2K quality, 4 megapixel, 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second. At night, it has a no-glow 940 nanometers infrared LEDs which is barely visible to the human eye. It is battery powered with a built-in 6,000 mAh rechargeable battery. And this comes with a solar panel to continuously top it off. It also has a person detection and two-way audio. It has intelligent animal detection, which is still in beta. And I'll tell you something about this later on, so keep on watching. It has local micro SD card recording up to 128 gigabyte card and with cloud recording option if you want. It is weather resistant and has an operating temperature range of 14 degrees to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. And because it is a 4G LTE cellular camera, it will need a data subscription and will need its own SIM card. I've been using EIoT Club's SIM cards which they specialize on this. And they now have the Triple Play Network card, which basically supports Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile Network. I will link their website in the description down below. Time to open up the box. We have the paperwork, quick start guide, instructions for the solar panel, mounting template for the solar panel, and one for the camera. And we have the antenna, and we have the mount. And this is the adapter that you screw into the camera. You push this tab to release it. And this one is not in camo. Then we have the strap, mounting screws in plastic anchors, and a push pin. We have a micro USB cable to charge the camera. And we have the camera itself, and if you tilt the camera lens down, you will see a rubber flap that covers the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot, which this comes with a 32GB micro SD card, and also the reset hole. PIR sensor here, camera lens, infrared LEDs, light sensor and status light, and we have the mic. On the back, we have another rubber flap that covers the on and off switch. And another one that covers the micro USB port for charging and hooking up the solar panel. And this is where we're going to screw in the antenna. And on the top, we have the quarter 20 screw mount to screw in the adapter. What else is inside the box? We have the solar panel and its mount which is also in camo. Time to set this up. Insert your SIM card, turn on the camera, Open up the app and scan the QR code which is in the top end of the camera. Create a device password. Name your device and it is connected. Time to install this and I'll demo installing using the strap. Get the mount and you can thread in the strap on the back side and you can also screw this in. Then just loop it around to where you want it installed like in a tree branch. And just thread the strap on the buckle and secure it tight. And just align the camera to the mount and you can turn it a bit clockwise and you will hear a click. Now as to the solar panel and Reeling should have designed this to be able to be strapped in as well. But it is just a regular mount that needs to be screwed in. For this demo, I'll just screw this in to my poor tree and just hook up the solar panel. Let's check the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see the last event snapshot from the camera with not connected icon on it. Click on it to get to live view and just like any other 4G LTE connected cameras, it does take a while to load up the live view. In here, you can pause the live view, listen in, take a snapshot, record the live view, change the video quality of the stream from fluent, balanced, or full resolution. And the bottom here, you can start two-way talk, which is full duplex, PTZ controls, where you can pan and tilt the camera manually. There's no motion tracking or preset positions with this camera. It seems this is how it is with battery-powered PTZ cams from Reolink. There is playback if you want to view and download recorded events. You can sort them out, person, pets, or all motion. Clicking the gear icon, you will get to the camera settings. You will see the battery life and I'll show you in the display, quality, and this camera records in 2560 by 1440 pixels and with 15 FPS frame rate. In detection alarm, you will see the detection zones. 
and on sensitivity, smart detection, you can adjust the sensitivity separately from person and pet detection. On camera recording, you can choose which the camera will record, person, pet, or all motion. And on the push notifications, you can just pick which one you want to be notified about. And on the siren, you can record 5 seconds of your own audio to trigger when motion has been detected. And it also has a time-lapse feature. But please note that this will use a lot of your battery life. Time to do some testing. And to be consistent, I have to reinstall this in my backyard where I test cameras that I review. This is the uh, video and audio quality of the Team Ranger Stand and Tilt camera. And the uh, video quality test at 10 feet. 15. 20. So this is the video quality of the King Ranger PT at night and this will, uh, I could even see the infrared LEDs now I'm not sure if it's recording, yes it is. So this is uh, what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can barely, I can, it's like, you can't see it at all. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the uh, Keen Ranger PT camera. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 539, so let's check it out. And because this is a 4G LTE camera, there is some delay. Yep, definitely a delay. There you go. And when you click and hold, there is no rich notification. But the, there, there is, if you sign up for their cloud recording, there's gonna be a rich notification. And going on, clicking on the notification, you will get to live view, which there is also a delay. There you go. Cool. 540. All right, so it just turned to 541. But we'll see what the notification and recording cool off for the Keen Ranger camera. Hmm, that's a little bit quicker. All right, cool. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the uh, Keen Ranger camera. And uh, I'd set the motion detection to the highest sensitivity and also person detection only and also set to a highest sensitivity so let's go 40 feet first and because of the delay in the notification i'm just gonna run through the distances 35 all right 30 there we go that detected at 30 feet now we will test how soon the uh, Keen camera will detect me and start recording when the motion is going towards the camera and I'll just be on a regular walking pace. They advertise this to be able to start recording in half a second, 0.5 seconds. So I'm not even sure if I got, yeah, I got detected. Cool. This is the audio quality coming out from the Keen Ranger PT camera. This is the audio quality coming out from the King Ranger PT camera. There's my dog, and there's the camera. That's what, 10 feet? And he's not detecting. The camera's not detecting him. I have pet detection turned on. 
Alright, the animal or pet detection is currently not working in this camera. And I'm pretty sure that they will update and make this to work. But anywho, because this is a trail cam and my wife has been complaining that a possum has been digging again on her garden, I set it up and just set it to notify me with all motion. And I did get this. Well, it is not the possum this time, and time for me to set traps or poison these ratatouilles. It is doable to use all motion, and where I set it up, I didn't get any false notifications. Hoping Reolink will get pet or animal AI to work soon. This is a trail camera after all. Video and audio quality are Reolink, so they're pretty good. Person detection is also pretty spot on. Notifications and loading up the live view and initially accessing the camera has some delay. And this is how it is with 4G cellular connected cameras. But once you are connected, everything else is faster. And the same as their Argus PT camera, they don't have motion tracking or patrol or preset positions. I guess those features use up a lot of battery. Now you're probably wondering why this camera is more expensive than Reolink's Go PT Plus. And I'll make a comparison video on this. But as far as I can tell, they are the same, except for the camo paint, the no-glow infrared LEDs of the Keen Ranger, and the Keen is missing vehicle detection, while the Go PT Plus doesn't have animal detection. And with cloud recording subscription, there'll be rich notifications with the Keen Ranger when it becomes available. And I'm already learning and bummed that this feature, Reolink decided that this needs a paid subscription. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.